Hello, let's take a quick look at using GitHub Copilot with SQL. Let's start by finding out what databases are in the current instance. Show the database names in the current instance. Select name, oh, it's given me a query here. If we execute that query, it shows me that there is a single user database because it's automatically put this where database ID is greater than four. In SQL Server, the first um, for zero index database names are system databases. So this is this is the right query. So next I wanna see what tables are in the city bike database. Show the database names in the current, show the table names in the city bike database. That looks pretty good. Okay, I've got four tabs four tables, one of them is called trip data, that's the one I'm interested in. Um, but I wanted to use information schema for the next query. So using information schema, show the column names in the trip data table. Looks pretty good. Okay, I've got my column names, but actually I want show the data type as well. just modify it quickly with natural language. Okay, so these are columns in the trip data table. I've got start station and end station with latitude and longitude. I'd like to write a query that calculates the distance between these two stations. Let's see if Copilot can do it for us. So let's write a query to return the following. It's better if we're specific with this kind of thing. So let's say start station name and end station name and geographic distance, distance between start and end stations. I've, I've learned that it's important to put the word geographic if you're using this kind of calculation, otherwise it will try to use more complex math, which isn't necessarily that, that um, efficient. So I want the geographic distance between start and end station. Let me show you what happens if I just do it that way. It gives me this, but you can see that it has tried to guess where the latitude and longitude should be taken from. That's actually not right. So let's be more specific and say the locations of the stations are in start lat. And you can see that it's auto completed, but it's used LON instead of LNG. So if I just change that, let's see what we get now. Okay, that's much better you can see that the calculation is using start lat and start long and it's used direct the correct functions to calculate the distance let's uh, execute this and see what we get we've got the, the right uh, calculations but we've also got this error geography point failed because parameter one is not allowed to be null so uh, probably means that start lat or over here end lat there's a, a row with a null um, in the column so we don't really want that. We can't calculate that distance anyway. So let's try exclude rows where the parameters are null. Delete that stuff and try again. Press tab, tab. Oh, look at that. It has actually built the where clause for me. I'm just going to format that so you can see it better. You can see that it's built the where clause and the calculation is the same. It's using the correct columns. And now if I execute this, it's taking a lot longer and it's taking a lot longer because I forgot to put the limiting clause. So let's stop that. Using T-SQL syntax, return the top 100 rows only. All right now it's put top 100, which is which is much better. Again, format. I really should learn the keyboard shortcut. Um, that's the right query. It's got top 100 because it's SQL Server. Let's execute that, and it has worked. That is the top 100 distances by trip between these two stations, and that is an example of using GitHub Copilot to write SQL. Enjoy.